Ethereum and Bitcoin look like they're about to recover towards the upside, but I'm going to tell you that that is not going to happen right this second because today I'm pretty confident we're going to see a further big dip towards the downside for Ethereum and the Bitcoin price. And what I'm seeing right now, looking into the four hour for the Ethereum price, is this large red candle coming in here. And if we jump into the one hour chart, you can see something a little bit more significant playing out. We had this rising wedge that took us all the way from around $1,943 all the way up to 2,163, regaining $2,000 for a short period of time. But right now you can see that we have breached the lower level on this rising channel pattern and that was probably to be expected. And now you can see that we are gonna be pushing further towards the downside with a price target for this, literally around $1,954. But if we look across to Bitcoin, I'm pretty confident we can see that Ethereum is gonna go even lower than the dip it saw the other day. And I'll show you exactly why that is. Now guys, looking into Bitcoin, we can see something similar shaping up. We have breached also this lower support line here. And if we zoom out to the four hour on Bitcoin, then you can see it's a little bit clearer how what happened. This green line is basically the previous low that we've held for the last couple of years or so. Obviously we did breach below that the other day, but most significantly for us in the Bitcoin price, it's this yellow line. And the reason I'm looking at Bitcoin guys, if you're thinking it's pointless, Bitcoin basically drives the market. What Bitcoin does, Ethereum tends to follow on. You'll see very similar patterns. This is on a weekly chart for the Bitcoin price. You can see that we have breached this low, but what we've been holding is this support line down through here for this falling wedge pattern. Ultimately, in my opinion, will break towards the upside, but you can see that because we did touch it here the other day at $25,000, now obviously because we moved on, this will be moving slightly further away. We could see something like $24,500, breaching $24,500 and closing below it, guys. We are going to have a horrific dump towards the downside, but I don't think that's likely. I think a lot of buy orders were going to come in towards this area. So if we are dropping down here aggressively, I think we can expect to be wicked back up. Obviously, if you're going to go in and buy at those prices, do your own research, not financial advice, guys. Just what I prepare myself to do, buying around $25,000 pretty cheap Bitcoin in my opinion when we got $68,000 on the card. What I would expect to happen is something perhaps like this where we'll have maybe a few more kind of recovery bounces and then something like this in the next few weeks or so. As I want to show you guys you can see the Ethereum price looks very similar to what we've seen in Bitcoin with higher highs getting put in here and again coming down to retest these key levels. Unlike Bitcoin we haven't breached these lows so it would potentially see another $1,720 from the Ethereum price. We do also have a similar pattern unfolding here for the Ethereum price. If Ethereum is unable to hold around 1729, you can see dips perhaps to around $1,600, but it will be very short-lived in my opinion. I'm not expecting us to see full-on long-term action down here because every time the Ethereum price drops that low, it lots of people jumping into the market, excited about an opportunity to buy that perhaps they haven't seen for the last few months. And jumping across to the DXY guys, something very interesting is playing out. The dollar index is basically what's been driving this crypto decline because the dollar has been absolutely booming and everything else has been struggling to perform against it. Right now, you can see on the four hour chart, we've had this sort of drop. We're now trying to peak again, but it does look like this line here at around 104.776 is starting to be a significant resistance for the DXY. Are we about to see the DXY blow off top? and push towards the downside, it's super highly extended. This is a four hour chart guys, it's not gonna happen extremely quickly. Crypto obviously much more volatile. Obviously there's a huge amount more money in the US dollar than there is in anything else basically. So we would expect to see a sort of a cool off, nothing that's gonna be absolutely flying around like we see in crypto, but we do need to see the US dollar start to push towards the downside. This is a weekly chart, as you can see, super overextended. It wouldn't surprise me if we start to see some sort of a decline happening over the next few months or so. Bear in mind, this was a whole year in the process. May was where we kind of topped out last year, and obviously we have had a few spikes along the way. But if we see a decline like that, then crypto is going to be absolutely enormous. We obviously know crypto is exciting. And right now, a lot of people are kind of scared to get involved in crypto because the price is low and they think it could go lower. 
I think it potentially could go lower, guys. I'm not saying that it's not going to. I'm just saying that when it's low like this, you've got a good opportunity to buy, in my opinion, rather than waiting for the prices to boom like this and then buying somewhere like this, which is what most people do in crypto and ultimately what drives the markets and what drives these huge collapses, which we see every single time because emotions get the better of everyone. Guys, if you've enjoyed that realistic Ethereum update today, then make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks very much for doing that. And if you are new to the channel and you want to learn more about Ethereum, Bitcoin, especially now, which in my opinion is the best time to be learning about crypto because it's where the best opportunity happens when the prices are low, then make sure you subscribe to the House of Crypto and I will see you very soon with another video.